sense, connecting sight, sound and life. Inclusive Dance Workshop by Sense Arts. Hello and welcome to Sense Arts Inclusive Dance Workshop. My name's Becca and today I'm going to be taking you through a beginner's contemporary dance class. At this time, Sense Arts are really keen to ensure that as many people as possible can continue to live active and creative lives. So over the next few weeks, we're going to be bringing you a range of different arts activities that you can try out at home. In order for as many people to be able to be involved as possible, I'm going to be auto-describing everything that I do, and we also have BSL interpreting and captioning. Please do let us know if there's anything else that we could do to make this easier for you to access. Okay, so before we get going, there's just a few things that I'd like to talk you through about the space that I'm in and that sort of thing. And then if you then decide that there's anything you want to rearrange about the room that you're in, then you can always just pause the video, take a few minutes to get yourself sorted and then come back into the warm up. So first of all, uh, I'm here in my living room. Uh, it's not the biggest space in the world. I live in a flat, so I've probably got about a metre and a half squared that I can actually dance in. And in order to achieve that much space, I've had to push the furniture against the wall or take it out of the room completely. So you might want to just have a bit of a think about how you can make the most out of the space that you're in to give you as much room as possible to move around without uh, bumping into anything or breaking anything. Um, I'm dancing on a carpeted floor, uh, so I've decided to keep my socks on. Um, you might be on a floor that's a bit more slippery, like a wooden floor or something like that, in which case you might be more comfortable if you're wearing trainers or if you're in bare feet. Um, I suppose a couple of other things to mention about clothing. Uh, it's quite nice to be wearing kind of sports sorts of clothing because we are going to be moving around together today. Uh, you don't need any special equipment, but just something that is either a bit stretchy or loose fitting so that you can move around comfortably. Um, and you might want to have uh, one prop today as well, which is a scarf. Uh, I've got this one here, this green scarf here. Um, it can be, you know, uh, it doesn't need to be as big as this. This is probably like a couple of metres long. It really doesn't need to be that long. I'm going to have to fold this up to use it. Uh, what other things will you need today? Oh, some water. Probably a good idea to have a bit of water on hand, um, just in case you need to take a sip during the session. Although I will say that it's not, meant to be a really strenuous workout today. This is supposed to be gentle exercise. Um, and I'm actually quite up for it being a gentle session myself today because I'm pregnant at the moment. Uh, so I've also kept a chair here. I'm intending to do most of the session seated today. So when you're rearranging your furniture, you might want to think if you do want to keep one chair for you to sit on, that might be more comfortable. Um, so yeah, we're going to be looking at contemporary dance today. Uh, I love contemporary dance. I've been a contemporary dancer for many years. Um, it's a very creative dance style, very, very varied. There's lots of different uh, ways of doing and being a contemporary dancer. Um, so I'm just going to focus on one specific action today in our session. Uh, so we'll do a warm up and then we're going to look at the movement of swinging or rocking uh, all together. So for our neurodiverse audience, the five key words for the session today are dance, exercise, fun, relax and swing. OK, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to mention. So I'm just going to check my list because I want to make this uh, as clear as possible. Yeah, so like I mentioned, I've got my chair here to work with today in case I need to take it easy at any point. And I encourage you to do the same, but also I encourage you to adapt the movement in any way that feels best for you. So uh, if you wanna take things at a different speed or a different size or just in a different way altogether um, to what I'm doing, then that's completely up to you. There's definitely not a right or wrong about this. Um, and of course, I don't know what you're doing, so you can certainly feel free to interpret it in a way that feels comfortable for you. Um, just to add on to that as well, I imagine that some people that are watching this 
and uh, taking part in this video are uh, on their own and other people might be working with a partner. So I'm going to try and give explanations for both scenarios. I would say though, if you're working with a partner, um, please do especially remember that, uh, that this dance is a dialogue, it's a conversation. Um, so try and make sure that it's not always the same person leading. And, and if in your partnership you realise that things might be, uh, you might be starting to have new ideas or things might be going in a slightly different direction to what I'm saying, then I really encourage you to go with that and to do the dance that feels right with your partner. Um, because you're there in that live moment and I'm not. And also just to add on to that, that um, when we are dancing with each other, it is a dialogue, it is a conversation. So when you're in contact with another person, um, we're not just giving information, we're also receiving information and that might inform the choices that we make. So those are just a few things to bear in mind. I think that's everything. So I'm just gonna move over to my chair now for the warm up and if you need to pause the video and rearrange anything in your space then now's the time to do it. Okay back in a sec. Okay so I'm sitting in my chair now and I hope everyone's feeling ready to start the warm up. So to begin with I'm just going to give you an image of um, like a golden syrup sort of a liquid passing through all of the joints in your body. And we're going to use that image as we begin to warm up today. So perhaps if we start off with our hands and wrists, if we imagine almost like there's um, a dinner plate suspended in the air above us, of course, sorry, not above us, in front of us. And we want to trace around the, the outside of that dinner plate with our fingertips. So we're drawing a circle with our hand and it's our wrist joint that we're starting to warm up. So we can imagine that lovely golden syrup sort of fluid swirling around in our wrist joint. And make sure you've done both hands. So tracing a circular shape with your fingertips and imagining that swirling around warming up both wrists, oiling the joints. That's the idea, great stuff. Lovely, okay, so now we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna place them onto our shoulders, okay? And this is going to warm up our shoulder, our shoulder joints now. So I've got my hands on my shoulders and my elbows are sort of resting down towards my rib cage. And now I'm going to begin to draw those same big circles with my uh, elbows this time. So I bring my elbows forwards up in front of me. I'm working both, both arms at the same time here. And my elbows have come up to about shoulder height. Then I'm going to take my elbows up in the direction of my ears and then reach them back behind me, opening my chest and then bringing my elbows back down towards my rib cage again. So hands are on the shoulders. Elbows reach forwards, up to the ears, back behind and down to the rib cage. Drawing one more circle, going forwards and up, up to the ears, back behind and down to the rib cage. Lovely, let's do that, go in the opposite direction now. So this time our elbows reach behind us, opening the chest. Then we bring our elbows up towards our ears and then forwards and down until they come all the way down to our rib cage. Drawing a circle again, around and back, up to our ears, down to the front and past our rib cage. One more time for luck, around to the back, drawing a big circle with our elbows, hands are on our shoulders as our elbows reach up past our ears, forwards and front of the body, the elbows are coming down and then down towards the rib cage. Great stuff, okay, lovely. Now we're going to begin to mobilize our head, our neck and shoulders. So we're going to begin by again, having that image of the swirling warm golden syrup liquid inside the joint. And we're going to take our um, ear. Let's say we're all going to do our right ear actually, taking our right ear over towards the right shoulder. 
and that's having a nice stretch for the left side of the neck. And then let's take our chin towards our chest as if we're, um, our face is going in the direction of the floor. And then switching sides, so now our left ear is going over to our left shoulder. And now we're having a stretch for the right side of the neck. And let's repeat that a few times. So it's like we're drawing a semicircle with the top of our head. So our left ear is over to our left shoulder, and then chin to chest, face down to the floor, and then right ear to right shoulder. And again, chin to chest, moving smoothly and slowly. Left ear to left shoulder and chin to chest. And then moving over right ear to right shoulder, nice and gentle. Lovely, okay, okay, good. Now we're gonna just move on to warming up our legs a little bit. So we're going to stretch one leg forwards at a time, waking up the knee joint. And it's almost like I'm slow motion kicking a football. One foot forwards at a time. And then I'm gonna just keep my right leg out in front of me. And now I'm gonna imagine that same dinner plate action. I'm gonna draw circles again with the toes this time instead of the fingers. So this is to warm up the ankle joint. My ankles click a bit, so don't worry if yours do the same. And now I'm making a circle around in one direction. I'm going anti-clockwise, so now I'm gonna to change to going clockwise. Don't worry if you were going the other way. You can just make sure you've done both directions. And now I'm also gonna just make sure I've done both legs. So I'm gonna switch over to the other side. And I'm going to stretch my left leg long out in front like I'm kicking a football. Then I'm gonna hold it there. Then I'm gonna draw circles around that imaginary dinner plate with my toes, warming up the ankle joint in one direction and then changing and going over into the other direction. Lovely stuff. Okay, good. So we've had a little mobilization of all of our joints. Now we're just gonna move a little bit more quickly uh, to get our heart rate going. But like I said before, move at the speed that feels good for you. So we're going to begin pressing our palms together and we're gonna do Kind of a sort of massage, um, but it's a waking up massage, not a, not a chill out massage. <laughs> so we're going to begin by rubbing our hands together like it's a cold day and we want to get nice and warm. So we're kind of brushing the palms of the hands together, feeling a little bit of heat building there. And if you're doing this with a partner, you know, you can, you can be sensitive to what feels like the right sort of speed and pressure when working with your partner, don't be too strong. Okay, and then we're going to take that brushing all the way along one arm. So I'm going to brush my left hand all the way along my right arm from fingertip up to shoulder and back down again. So I'm brushing all the way along from fingertip to shoulder and back down again. And then underneath as well. Great, okay, and then switching over to the other side, brushing from fingertip to shoulder, and making sure you get the inside of the arm as well, not just the outside. Brushing the whole arm, like you're covering yourself in paint or soap. Good, okay, and then we're going to just uh, have a little wiggle of our fingers now out in front, and if you've got a partner, you can wiggle your fingers together, like you're playing an imaginary piano in the air in front of you. I am going somewhere with this, I promise. <laughs> Might feel a bit strange. So you're wiggling your fingers in the air in front of you or wiggling your fingers towards your partner. And then you're going to take those wiggly fingers uh, and almost like raindrops or like you're standing in the shower, you're going to drop those uh, imaginary water droplets through your fingers or that piano playing on top of your head, wiggling your fingers tapping the top of your head very lightly, just waking up the surfaces of the body. And you can go lightly, lightly over the forehead. And then coming down the neck and back onto the collar, collarbones again. Good stuff. Okay, and then we're just gonna give the hands a little bit of a shake. So it's almost like, I mentioned as if you were covering yourself in paint or in, in soap there. Uh, we do a lot of hand washing at the moment, don't we? So now you're gonna shake your hands 
like you're shaking that paint or that soapy water off your hands. Shake, 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 shake. And at the moment, I'm shaking my hands kind of in front of me with my elbows bent. But we could also tape our hands over to the right side of our body and shake our hands over there. And take our hands over to the left and shake our hands over there. We could even shake our hands up towards the ceiling and down towards the floor. Lovely. And then just maybe giving one leg a little bit of a shake where you are and then the other. Fab. Okay, great stuff everyone. Good. So I hope you're feeling a little warmer now. So now we're going to just uh, move into this uh, action of swinging. Okay, swinging. So that's our dance action for this session today. So if you just imagine a swinging sensation, perhaps if you've ever been on a swing, or perhaps if you can imagine the branch of a tree swinging or swaying in the wind, it's kind of this rocking, swaying forwards and backwards action or side to side action. And every swing has this suspension, drop and catch. So for instance, if I think of a child on a swing, they push themselves back and the swing comes backwards and there's this sort of sense of suspension. Then as they take their feet off the floor and swing forwards, the swing drops down and then it swings up in a sort of arc till they come to the height of their swing and there's this sense of suspension before they drop and go backwards and swing in the opposite direction. So this, this sort of drop, suspend and drop, catch, suspend, drop, catch, suspend, drop, catch, suspend, drop, catch, drop, catch. And that's kind of the feeling of swinging. So perhaps let's try that with both arms now. So if we uh, swing both of our arms back behind us just a little way, so our hands are almost, uh, I suppose about 45 degrees behind us. Be careful if your chair gets in your way there. And then we can drop our hands. I'm going to go very slowly to talk this through first of all. We drop our hands down by our sides down by the sides of our bodies, and then they'll swing up, this is slow motion, to about shoulder height. There's a little suspension here when we do it at a, a more natural speed, and then our hands are going to swing back down, past our sides, past our hips, and then they go behind us, and there's a little suspension there again. So there's this feeling of drop, swing, catch, drop, catch, drop, swing, catch, drop, swing, catch. So the arms are going from the back, drop, swing forward, suspend, drop, swing backwards, suspend, drop, swing forward, suspend, drop, swing backwards, suspend. Okay, and rest. Lovely, so let's try doing just four of those straight away. Now I'm gonna go through a few different ways of swinging our arms in this session. And then there'll be a bit of time later on for you to just swing your arms in any way, swing your whole body, move through the space in any way that feels right. But I'm going to go through kind of a little sequence, first of all, before we get onto that. So this first section, when we're swinging both of our arms together, I'm going to call both. Yeah, so this section is called both because we're swinging both of our arms forwards and backwards. Okay, so this is called both and we're going to do four of these. So we begin with our arms swinging behind us. Everyone take your arms behind you a little way. And then we go both. Drop, catch, drop, go backwards. That's one. Drop, go forwards, drop, go backwards. That's two. Drop, forwards, drop, backwards. That's three. Drop, forwards, drop the arms back. And that's four. Lovely. Okay. So we do four swings like that. Now we can try a slightly different kind of swinging action. So for this one, I'm going to call it switch because we're going to switch from one arm to the other arm. So maybe just have a go, first of all, just swinging one arm on its own, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. Just like you were doing with both arms, but just with one arm this time. Good, and try the other arm. 
Just one arm swinging forwards and backwards. Really feel the weight of that arm, uh, like it's hanging very loose from the shoulder girdle. Lovely, okay. So we're gonna begin taking the right arm a little way back and the left arm a little way forwards. And the first one of these switch, we're gonna take the right arm forwards and the left arm back. And then you guessed it, we switch our arms over. So the left arm comes forwards and the right arm comes back. That's one. Let's try that again. Right arm forwards, left arm back. Left arm forwards, right arm back. That's two. And the hands are going on exactly the same trajectory, same pathway as they did before. So as they did with the both arms, but they're just going in opposition to each other this time. Almost like if someone was walking down the street. Okay, so we swing again. Both arms come down past the hips and then the right arm's going forwards and the left arm's going back. And then switch so that the left arm's going forwards and the right arm's going back. And then one more makes four. Right arm goes forwards, left arm back. Left arm forwards, right arm back. Good, okay, give your hands a little shake. So we've got both, where we're swinging two arms at the same time forwards and back. Then we've got switch, where we swing right, then left, then right, then left. We do that four times, counting each time the right hand goes forwards as one. Great stuff, okay, are you ready for another one? We can do it, guys. We're just gonna do two more of different sorts of swing. So the next one, we're going to cross, it's gonna be called cross, we're going to cross the right arm over to the left knee. In the, it doesn't have to touch the knee, but it's going in that direction. So you get a twist in your shoulders and in your upper body, okay? So as my right arm swings across in the direction of my left knee, I'm getting this twisting feeling in my upper body. And then, of course, my left hand is going to swing over in the direction of my right knee. And again, do just be careful if you've got a chair back to contend with here like I have. Okay, so this has got this kind of crossing, twisting feeling, like the shoulders are moving, uh, the right shoulder moves forwards and the left shoulder moves back as you reach for your opposite knee. Okay, let's try doing four of those. So we cross the uh, right arm towards the left knee and then the left arm towards the right knee. That's one. Again, swing across and back and right arm swings across and then the left and right arm again and there. Lovely. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So we've got both arms. We've got switch, which is one arm at a time swinging forwards. And now we've got cross, which is twisting the shoulders and taking the hands in the direction of the knee. Lovely. Okay, so our final set of swings, we're going to swing our arms side to side this time. So for this one, it's both arms again, but they're going to swing both arms over to the right side. So I'm reaching my right arm out again, probably about shoulder height, depending. And my left arm actually has come across my body again, but it's, it's like my fingertips of my right hand and my left hand are connected by a piece of elastic or string or something like that. So as I swing my arms over to one side, both arms go in that same direction. And then I drop the hands down towards the knees and swing over to the left side. So now my left arm is level with my left shoulder blade and my right hand is reaching across my body as if the fingertips are connected by an imaginary elastic band. So let's try four of those. We swing to the right and left. Then again to the right, that's two, and left. To the right, that's three, and left. To the right, swing, and back to the left. That's four. Okay, lovely. Well, I hope that all makes sense. I'm going to go through it one more time, but I'm going to show a version standing this time. So feel free to stay in your chair, or if you want to join me uh, standing, then you're also welcome to do so. So I'm just going to move my chair away now. And if you're staying in your chair, 
You can also uh, grab your scarf right now. I'm just gonna check whether I need to adjust my camera angle. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through that uh, sequence of uh, four different types of swing, and I'm gonna do it in a standing position now. Um, but you can keep practicing it in the chair. Uh, if you want to, you could also grab your scarf, your prop at this moment, if that's uh, something that might be enjoyable as well. Okay, so can you remember, we had four different swinging actions. Both was when both arms swing forwards and back. Switch is when one arm swings forward and then the other, so alternating our arms. Twist is when we cross our arm over in front, alternating our arms. And then side is when we swing both arms over to one side and then the other. So those are our four sections so far. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about how this, uh, has some more detail about how this can feel. So, I think that the swing always has this feeling of light, uh, of um, buoyancy and uh, kind of lightness to it. Even though it's got this drop in the middle, the suspend is always quite light. So, whether you're seated in your chair or whether you're standing, just take a moment to really feel, first of all, the energy going down through the feet or through the seat into the earth below you. So this real sense of support and the earth coming up to meet you. And then that means that the rest of your body can have this sensation of almost floating and reaching upwards. So your base is reaching down and then the rest of your body can be floating and reaching upwards in your imagination, okay? Now, I'm gonna keep this sense of softness and uh, fluidity in my joints as well. So if I'm standing, my ankles, knees and hips have a slight feeling, almost like I'm on a trampoline, but I haven't started jumping yet. So there's this little feeling of um, the possibility that I could go in any direction. And the same if you're seated, you don't wanna be compressing down into your hips. You want to be having a little sense of space around that hip pelvic area. Okay, so I've got a tiny little bend in my knees, and I mean tiny, it's like, you know, two inches maximum. My legs are quite wide apart. Um, I'm standing with my feet as if I'm on two sort of train tracks. Uh, so my feet are in parallel position, but mine's quite wide today. You can have a more narrow position with your feet under your hips. Mine are more like about half a metre apart from each other. And we're gonna add a little bend into this uh, swinging action. So as my arms swing forwards, I'm gonna bend my knees a little more, still keeping my whole foot on the floor. And then as they reach shoulder height, I'm gonna stretch my legs. So my knees bend as my hands come past my hips and they stretch as my hands reach behind me. They bend as my hands come past my hips and stretch as my arms reach in front, bend as my hands past my hips and stretch as my arms reach behind me. So it's got this bend, stretch, bend, stretch, drop, swing forwards, drop, swing backwards, bend, stretch, bend, stretch, drop, swing forwards, drop, swing backwards. So let's try our four swings of the arms both. Both arms swinging forwards. Here we go. Prepare with the arms going backwards. And bend, stretch forwards. Bend, stretch backwards. This is two. This is three. Bend, stretch. Bend, stretch. This is four. Bend, swing forwards. Bend, swing backwards. Lovely. From there, we're going to swing our right arm forwards and our left arm stays back. Switch. One. Forwards and change. And two. Right arm forwards, then the left. And three, bend, stretch, bend, stretch, four, bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Lovely, now we're going to do cross. So from the right arm should finish behind us. And then from here, we're going to cross the right arm in front as we twist our shoulders. So we go cross one, and then the left hand in front, cross two, and then the right hand in front, cross three, and change, cross four, and change, good. And then we're gonna do an extra little one with the right arm coming across just to prepare us so we can go into our final section, which is side. 
swinging the arms to the right side and to the left and to the right side and to the left this is number three to the right side and to the left and i'm still bending and stretching the legs here as i swing to the right side and to the left okay so that's all four of our actions put together into a little sequence now so i'm now going to play you a little bit of music uh, and I just, I'm going to do this just so you can have a bit more of that feeling of swinging. And uh, the music has this same feeling of drop, catch, drop, catch, drop, catch, drop, catch. Uh, if you know a bit about music, it's on a 3-4. So that's what gives us that sort of swinging sensation. And I'm just going to put the track on and I'm going to invite you to experiment with swinging in any different way. So you can do the moves that I've just taught you, or you might find your own different way of moving. So let me just pop the music on. Drop, catch, drop, catch, drop, catch, drop, catch. Swing. find ways to travel around the space that you're in. Be careful, don't bump into anything. <laughs> so you could try the one with both arms going forwards. You could try the one where you switch one arm going forwards, then the other. You could try crossing the arms in front of the body. You could try sw swinging the arms side to side or any other version that feels good to you with this rhythm. One, two, three. One, two, three. Lovely, good. So guys, now we're going to do the whole thing. We're going to put everything together. So with the music, we're going to do both arms forwards and back. We're going to do switch, one arm forwards, one arm back. We're going to do cross, twisting our shoulders, taking our hand to the opposite side of the body. We're going to have a little prepare and then we're going to do side, swinging our arms side to side. Enjoy yourselves. Don't worry too much if it goes a bit wrong and you do something a bit different. We'll try doing that sequence twice in a row. So it'll be quite straight after each other one time and then get ready and go straight away again. And then I'll just leave the track playing and you can just take the last minute to just move around, swing, dance with your partner uh, and just have a nice time. Okay, here we go. Starting with both arms going back, ready to swing them forwards. Off we go, both, one, two, both arms swinging forwards and back, three, four, now switch, right arm forwards, two, this is switch, three, four, now cross, cross the right arm, then the left, two, three, Four, and a little cheeky prepare to go to the side, right, two, left, three to the right, and four to the right and left, get ready, and both, one, two, three, four, now switch, right arm forwards, left arm, two, three, Four, now cross, cross, two, right arm, then the left, three, four, and a little cheeky prepare to the side, one, left, right, two, side, three, four, lovely, now you can do any swing you like, you can move around the space, 
You can swing one arm, you can swing both arms. It can be small, it can be big, it can travel. Keep breathing. Coming to an end. Here we are. Lovely. Thank you very much, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. We're just going to take a gentle little cool down now. So just wherever you are, I've ended up sitting on the floor after, um, after that. But wherever you are, just taking a moment to come into a still position. You might be standing. You might be seated on a chair. You might be seated on the floor, wherever you are. You might be lying on the floor. And we're just going to take a few deep breaths. Good. Perhaps placing your hand onto your chest, noticing the rise and fall of the torso as you breathe in and out. Breathing in and out, just letting all that movement settle into the body. That's good. Okay, and then we're just going to take three brushes down from the top of our head. Remembering that feeling of the little raindrops on the top of our head, now we're going to do that with the palm of our hand, just brushing the palms of both of our hands across our skull, down past our ears, across our collarbones, and then brushing the palm of one hand along one arm and then the other hand brushing along the other arm brushing both hands down the sides of our body and down our legs as far as we can reach and again two more like that top of the head brushing down one arm and the other arm and down the sides and over the legs and third time, palms of the hands over the head, down one arm, down the other arm, down the sides of the body and over the legs. And then we'll just finish there. Lovely. I hope you've enjoyed that session of contemporary dance today. Um, I've certainly enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. So please do let us know if there's any other things that we can do in order to make this more accessible and uh, hopefully we'll see you back here another time. Okay, take care. Bye. Sense. Connecting sight, sound and life. No one left out of life, no matter what.